For over a decade, the Pakistani Air Force's combat jet acquisitions have centered around the JF-17 Thunder Fighter program, which has been pursued jointly with China and has seen the country acquire fighters both from Chinese production lines and from those located in Pakistan itself. Before the JF-17, Pakistan's Air Force was comprised primarily of very light third-generation fighters and attack jets such as the J-7, Mirage 3, Mirage 5, and Q-5, with a single elite squadron comprised of slightly heavier but still lightweight fourth-generation F-16 and B Fighting Falcons. While the JF-17 has allowed Pakistan to replace the pre-fourth-generation jets in its fleet with a very light fourth-generation fighter, which although in many ways more sophisticated than the F-16 has a much smaller engine and much lower operational cost, the JF-17 is not expected to replace the F-16 itself in service. However, Pakistan's F-16 fleet is fast aging, with the large majority comprised of f 16 and B fighters acquired in the early 1980s. This old F-16 variant has been retired by the majority of countries, with Egypt and Israel recently retiring their fleets, and only Taiwan and Venezuela expected to continue using them due to an inability to procure replacements. Pakistan was the third country in the world to field the F-16 after the United States and Israel, and has upgraded the fighters over time including integrating modern AIM-120C air-to-air missiles onto them. Several factors such as metal fatigue, however, mean that operational costs will only continue to rise, and there will be growing pressure to retire the aircraft in favor of a more modern fighter, likely a lightweight or medium-weight aircraft which will be larger and more capable than the JF-17. When Pakistan does, so it will likely replace the jets with a non-American fighter class, as the US is highly unlikely to offer a more capable aircraft such as the F-18E or F-35A. Although some unverified reports have indicated that Pakistan could consider purchasing MiG-35 fighters from Russia, this is unlikely due to Russia's close defense ties with India and the fact that India already operates MiG-29 UPG jets which are in many ways similar, albeit much less capable, than the MiG-35. As such, the most likely options are either that Pakistan will wait until its fifth-generation project being pursued with China can produce fighters or purchase Chinese J-10C fighter jets. The J-10C has notably been deployed to Pakistan in the past for joint training exercises and reportedly made a very strong impression due to its advanced capabilities. The J-10C entered service in 2018, and as the F-16 it is a single-engine lightweight fighter. Having been designed several decades after the F-16, the J-10 is a much more advanced design boasting advantages in almost all parameters, including a higher speed, lower radar cross-section, and much greater maneuverability. The J-10C is the latest and most capable J-10 variant and uses thrust vectoring engines for enhanced maneuverability, something no Western fighter other than the F-22 does. It benefits from stealth coatings for improved survivability. The aircraft uses a modern ESA radar paired with some of the world's most capable air-to-air -air missiles, the PL-15 and PL-10, the former which is one of just two in the world confirmed to use an ESA radar for guidance. These missiles will also be deployed by upcoming improved variants of the JF-17 Block III. The J-10C would provide Pakistan with by far the most capable combat jet in its fleet and benefits from a much lower operational cost and lower maintenance needs than the aging F-16A airframes. Its access to YJ-91 cruise missiles provides much a much more dangerous air-to-ground capability than any Pakistani fighter. With the J-10C having reportedly proven capable of outperforming heavyweight Russian jets from the flanker family, due largely to its more advanced radar and missiles, the Chinese-built fighter would provide an effective means of countering India's most dangerous fighter class the Su-30 MKI. 
A Pakistani J-10C purchase remains by far the most likely option should the country look to acquire new combat jets other than the JF-17, with China potentially providing the aircraft on highly favorable terms due to the close strategic partnership between the two countries. At least until the F-35 moves beyond its current very limited initial operating capability to eventually become fully operational, the J-10C will be considered the world's most capable single-engine fighter in overall performance.